that was great. Well, when you got the RV, I was like, Dynamax, that's nice. And now I'm like, Dynamax. I chose Dynamax specifically because it was paint, number one. I knew that I wanted uh, paint. I knew that I would, you know, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it my way, the way I want. And so I knew I wanted a custom color. Yeah, like, yeah. no, it, it, you know, first of all, it's a beautiful vehicle. Like when I thought RV, you know, I think of, I don't know anything about RVs, but those like silver ones that are Airstreams, Airstreams oh. or what now I know is a fifth wheel. So are we going to get a truck? Like, how is this going to be? But you look at this and it's, you know, like, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. So it's the only one that's this specific color. At first, you know, I was a little bit like, whoa, this is a big vehicle. Who's going to drive this? But it turns out, because I drove it the first time coming down here, I literally drove it, that it drives tight. It drives like a car. It's a bigger car, but I was really impressed with the smoothness of the ride. You know, I was able to do turns and change lanes comfortably. It's got all the safety features in there. So it felt safe. I felt comfortable. I'm really impressed. I'm confident that we can share the drives and that's it's pretty cool. Well, the size has been great for, for just the, the two of us. Uh, it's also, you know, with, we get with COVID, you know, we've been able to work from home. So, you know, with this, it's pretty much work from anywhere. It's far more luxurious than I would have ever imagined an RV to be. The size of the bathrooms, the, the size of the shower, a full refrigerator, like it's very hard for me to find a compromise right now between getting a hotel room and staying in, in our RV. And I didn't expect that. I thought that was like what other people, you know, did <laughs> or these big, huge rigs that would be too big. And then I also thought, well, if we're going to bo both work in this, are we going to be on top of each other? But we both have our workspaces. We have storage like we we don't use that thing as a bunk. We use it as storage. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that surprised me that the comfort and the comfort within the bed, too, because uh, I'm a fussy want, sleeper. But she does love the heating and massage. Theater <laughs> After a hike, that's a real luxury. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna so sit back. Battery, right? Yeah. This, this is all him. So thank you, everybody. So I put in lithium batteries. I increased the solar. I put in liquid springs. Uh, I put in the airflow systems into the AC. Uh, I put in the Victron battery monitor. I uh, wired up. The cup holder on the uh, that sits uh, the console that sits in uh, between the seats in the front. Wire that up with all the 12 volt sockets, so everything is uh, you know, neat. So there's no wires, you know, cluttering up and you know, hanging around. So yeah. I put that film on there, and you have the matching cup, the I light shield. The, uh, I added the smart plug so that I could get the the marine cable, which is an orange. He's committed. Yeah, I am. I am, I am all in on orange. If, unless somebody had a stock orange that I like, it's going to have to be a way for me to get the color that I wanted. You'll have to help me because I might not remember what, when we stayed, was it Maine? That was when we were feet away from the water's edge. We got out of the RV and the sun was rising and people were going out and getting mussels and kids were playing on the shore and it just felt private. I felt like I was somewhere special, like without a big hotel building and buildings around me. It was just very natural and comfortable. I don't know. That was That's one of my favorite memories. You know, it's always such a joy just to be, you know, out somewhere, out in nature and, you know, to have, you know, the comforts of home, you know, with us wherever we go. And literally, I mean, it is it's just an extension. It's just a home on wheels for us. And so to be able to go anywhere and, and feel like you're home still, you know, you're not really traveling. You know, and it's really it's not out. weather dependent. We've had fun rain rain or shine, you know. Yeah. We just put the awning out and grill right under here. Well, our first trip was a really good trip when we went local. And all we did was the whole goal of the trip was just to practice hooking uh, up. Yeah, yeah. It was really, yeah. I mean, just a systems check, make sure that we knew what we were doing and uh, you know, how to operate everything, make sure everything we just operated. Like one hour away right. to the shore. And actually the guy there gave us tips on how to hook up this, the sewer and the water and you know, some whatever, small tips, but <laughs> it was a practice run.